Hi students, it's Miss Ford, the PE TOSA. Today we are going to talk about ways for you to exercise at home or get your movement in at home. Last week we talked about ways to do it while you're at school. And those lines are a little bit blurred right now because some of you are doing school at home. So just think of it as a regular day when you don't have school and you are going to try to plan ways to incorporate physical activity into your daily routine. That means like things that you do every single day. So moving is physical activity. So moving is like participating in a sport, playing, swimming, walking, hiking. When you do physical education, that means you're practicing a skill or you're learning something new. So th that's the difference between the two. So when you are exercising, the health experts recommend that you get at least an hour of physical activity each day, but you don't have to do it all at once. You can break it up however you wanna break it up. So last, a couple weeks back, we talked about getting up every hour and moving around for five minutes, that'll work. You can move for 15 minutes, four different times a day. You can move for 20 minutes, three different times a day. And of course, you can do way more than an hour if that's your choice, if that's what you choose to. So just remember that by moving, it will benefit your body and your brain. So in your head, I want you to think about what your favorite thing to do when you get home. <clears throat> and I mean, I'm talking about physical activity. So when you're at home, what is your favorite thing to do? I want you to think about it. So some of you might like to actually work out, like jump rope, do jumping jacks, do push-ups, do sit-ups, do some kind of exercise video. Some of you might like to swim. Some of you might like to play basketball. Some of you might choose to stretch or play hopscotch or hula hoop. So the best choices for moving at home are those that are fun. So decide how you will make moving more fun. So think about it. Some of you like to play games. Some of you like to just play by yourself. Some of you might wanna play music while you are playing. That makes exercising more fun for sure. All right, so let's look at our slideshow, Move at Home. Would you rather do jumping jacks or jump rope? Would you rather catch a wave or shoot hoops? Would you rather do butterfly stretches or frog jumps? Be active at home. You may not be able to hop in the ocean and surf or go outside and play basketball all the time, but you can always move at home. So this girl looks like she's doing a cartwheel. These kids are riding their scooters and their bike in the grass. That's gotta be hard work. And it looks like they're just having a good time playing at the park. If the weather is nice and you have a safe area to move, you can go outside and play. Of course, with your parents' permission. Don't go outside and play by yourself unless they know. If you're watching TV and have an open space so you're safe, Take a break in between shows and do jumping jacks, push-ups, stretches, practice a dance move. If you have people inside your home, you can invite them to play also. In this picture, it talks about um, people inviting their friends over to play, but we're not doing that right now. So I want you to think about your favorite ways to move at home. And I want you to think about ways that you can make exercising and playing more fun for you. That will help you incorporate movement into your day while you're at home. So you need to make moving more fun and you need to try and reach the target of 60 minutes every single day. It's super good for your body and it's super good for your brain have a great day. I will talk to you soon.